This film, I don't know how to define this. I wouldn't know how to define a film I've made, but this film was uh, made in two years of work. I started two years ago, and so we lived through this, me and the crew, uh, through days of work and so many days of, well, nothing, because we were in Sicily, in Syracuse, and we were nearly finishing the film when an organizer came who's here with us today, uh, very pale, looking at me with uh, big eyes, and I said, what's happened? And they said, oh, somebody in your crew is positive. So, oh, well, uh, shall we do something? No, uh, you cannot carry on. Everybody has to go home. So then we had, that was COVID at its beginning. And uh, if we stayed there, we might have uh, rema remained uh, separated on Sicily from the continent. So everybody rushed home. And that was a kind of a fantasy thriller. Uh, everybody taking cars, taking airplanes, taking anything, rushing away to Rome or wherever. It was horrible. And we remained, well, we couldn't carry on for two and a half months, stayed there. And I thank COVID because in the meantime, in those two months, I must admit that I've, I had new ideas which I believe improved the film. Anyway, that's what I hope. When you make a film, then you have, uh, you know, thousands of little uh, waters uh, collecting in the big river and uh, little streams become a river. And uh, at the time, I didn't know that uh, The Nail, which uh, is another short story we meant to do once, that that was, had been conceived and written 20 days before Pirandello's death. So Pirandello dies with this feeling of an ending, whereas in the other stories, usually at the end, there's something grotesque happening, something, some turn to the story, but this is very directly leading to the end. And uh, at the time I was working and then there were people uh, around me and, and in those times all these deaths, as you know well, and at the end we thought well, this is what we'll have. That's the true ending of Pirandello's life. That's how it ended. And uh, so I thought I, I'd choose The Nail, Il Chiodo, a uh, short story which we meant to shoot with Vittorio so many years ago and we didn't uh, manage to do it, so we never realized this project. And then we did it, I did it now, this nail, the Chiodo story. But in the film, I hope you noticed that uh, in that the film ends with this tragedy, but at the beginning and at the end, it's theater. You can see at the beginning, you see a theater scene. You can see how the lights uh, are dimmed down. And then at the end, we have the old man in front of the little girl's tomb, the one he had killed. And then you see applause. And you see that we are in the theater. And I might, meant to remind uh, the audience that this is a spect spectacle. The spectacle is a spectacle. It's theater as it always has been. And as Pirandello's work always has been and ours as well. It's theater. Tragedy, but in the theater. The idea of this film is that within it, there is a constant spirit, a project, a visionary something. And uh, I would say it's very extremely courageous. And sorry if I'm talking too long. But the most beautiful thing when working at this film with Paolo was to find a way to show the things beyond what we were doing at the moment, that you could see evolution of a project, and then you also have the sense of life. You start with the death, and it ends also with a very dramatic uh, episode. And uh, in the mi middle, you have uh, the values and the sense of humanity. And I think that's really beautiful. I didn't have uh, great difficulties. 
Anch'io un film eh, lo faccio e And I also make a film le emozioni che si provano durante And then by using the emotions I have uh, while shooting you know you feel them that moment and then you remember them and that is uh, also something uh, very intimate to do and the things I still feel is the black and white uh, the joy the joy watching the film which I always have inside it's as if I had the possibility of shooting uh, in those times you know as if I could return to the times of strong Uh, extraordinary Italian cinema as if I were a part of it. And this uh, case, uh, of course, cinema has always been close. You know, Vittoria and Paolo now. Paolo, we've always been close to them and to Donatella, so it wasn't difficult to decide that we would want to contribute to realize such a film of such high quality of a great master of our Italian cinema. So Donatella, yes, it was. she said it was simple. Of course, the film then had to be made by the producer, by the caster, and so on and so forth. And so we had to make some decisions. And then, of course, it was important to um, get the people back into the cinema theaters and to advertise the film. So we, of course, have to, you know, okay, with all respect for the platforms and that, but still the cinema in, theater, in a theater is something, an experience which cannot be exchanged by anything else, you know, being in a big uh, room uh, with other people.